everyone and welcome to the Picture to Page Paper Craft Show. It's all happening in the background. We've talked a couple of times about different kinds of paper craft and we've got the lovely Michelle Brown with us again today. Hi Carol. Hi everyone. It's great to be back. Now for all of its viewers that haven't seen the previous show, can you just mm -hmm. tell them something about the different types of paper craft? We talked about journaling mm -hmm. and scrapbooking yeah, and all that. We certainly can. Well paper craft is quite a broad range of crafts. So like we said it covers card making, it covers scrapbooking, art journaling and then we've got the whole off the page as well. So 3D shapes, um, boxes, planners so that we can organise our stuff and our memories and our appointments and it just really is a broad range of techniques that once you get one under your belt it's easy to translate them to other crafts as well. And so we talked about the progression starting with a card and then you progress on to some of those other types of things and this is the place where you can go and check everything out and get some ideas. Mm. So what we like to say from picture to page you can come and see, play and buy. You can come and see the latest paper crafts, watch demonstrations from our talented retailers. You can come and have a play with a mini class or a make and take and then you can buy your craft supplies and Carol you can take them straight home. You don't need to wait for the post to arrive and then of course when you pull them out if you have any trouble with them you can get back in touch with us and the retailers the next show you can learn how to use them if you've bought things and you've forgotten or they didn't quite work properly and we really can put the faces to name so you're not just buying from websites that you may not know who's behind them you really are dealing with small businesses mostly women a lot of over 50s and it really is such a lovely community now we can't wait to meet some of the retailers and see what's happening with some of these enthusiasts that have come out to enjoy the show and now we're going to speak to the lovely Mary, who's been in the paper craft industry for since the 80s, is that yes, right? Yes, yes, since the 80s it was paper craft, just paper actually, stationary cardstock, mainly school supplies. And then um, we moved on to card making. Um, we would die, we die cut all our cards. We buy Australian made cardstock from Australian paper mills. And we import very little in the 3D die cuts. And that's how we started. And our lovely customers became teachers and we teach card making classes in the three different areas that we go every week. And the craft shows, we, do, we only do free make and takes. Jeanette is doing some there. I even learned how to make cards during COVID and I did some online shows and um, YouTube with Michelle. Yeah, it's amazing. I've been all those years in the industry and now you're making your own cards yes, just during COVID. I've never made yeah, cards until last May. Right, let's last have a look May. at some of your cards. Well, last May I attempted to make something like this. This was only made the other day. This is our octagon die. Wow, that's and, fancy. Uh, yeah, with a spring in it. And there's a YouTube on the hexagon that I did last May. Um, I also made... This is another card I made the other day with our gilding flakes and just a little bit of a Mr. and Mrs. there I thought wearing appropriate. Um, then more gilding flakes because I'm in love with gilding flakes at the moment, the techniques of gilding flakes. This is a bit of embossing. Oops. That just cut and emboss by Crafter's Companion. Some butterflies. This is just some of the cuts I made very easily yes. over one uh, evening. And one year you've yes. got, got all these fancy techniques. Yes, That's that very doesn't impressive. take me long. Like, yeah, Cheryl does most of them and Jeanette and Robin. So tell me, Mary, if someone's sitting at home and they're thinking about taking up card making, what would you say to them? Easy. Just have a go. You'll be surprised at your own creativity. I have been. <laughs> it's easy, really. Just need some paper and mix and match. If you can dress yourself up in the morning, you can make a card. Easy. <laughs> That's awesome. Easy. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. And now we're going to learn about salt crystals with pixie powder, whatever that is. I don't know whether Tinkerbell is going to fly in and do something, but we have with us the lovely Irene, and Irene's Hi. going to demonstrate. Yes. Hi, Irene. Hi, how are you? I'm from Joe Craft, and um, pixie powders are mica-based powder, and you just use them on watercolour cardstock. You give your watercolour cardstock a spritz of water, Sprinkle on the pixie powders and they just burst into colour. So you can use more than one colour with each one. A bit more water. 
Wow, look at that transforming. Yeah. And then you can whoops, get an even better effect. You can let it dry with the salt crystals on. The salt will absorb some of the colour and you'll be left with different colour effects through your effect. That'll take maybe two or three hours to dry off. Some have done here. Um, I did this one yesterday. With, you can see that there is shiny splotches on it which will make a beautiful card front and others I've got left to dry. So we'll just put that aside and leave that to dry and that would look, that's going to come up really nice. And then you can put extra glitter on top, you can't you? You can put extra glitter on top <laughs> and you turn it into a card, put a happy birthday on it and you're away. Woohoo! And you can take the salt crystals off and reuse them, is you that right? You can reuse them, you just dry them and then you put them onto a plain card stock, spritz them again with water and they will bloom again. Wow, that's yeah. interesting yeah. technique, never seen it's that bit. before. It's a very old technique. So is it? Yeah, yeah, Why it's does been it go back for ages. Like it's 100 around, years or something? Oh, I don't know where the 100 years, but yeah, <laughs> it's been around. It, it's one of those techniques that just keeps coming back every few years. Well, thank you so much, Irene, thank for you. showing us that, okay. you and your pixie powder. I, I was still waiting for Tinkerbell to turn up, though. <laughs> There's no Tinkerbell here. <laughs> Thanks, Irene. For all those people that joined in the fitness segment today, well done. Congratulations. Now keep the momentum going. Go jump on YouTube and get some more five-minute fitness routines. Over 50, so what? If you'd like to know more about how Alan Stevens can help you with your communication challenges, just jump on our website, carolahalloran.com, go to Facebook or YouTube, over 50, so what? Likewise, if you've been inspired to take up papercraft, just go to our website, Facebook or YouTube. As the lovely Mary says, it's easy. Just have a go. You'll be surprised at your own creativity. And if you can get up and get dressed in the morning, you can make a card. Please go pick up the phone now and call somebody. Stay connected, keep active, and please take care of each other. I'm Carol, over 50. So what? Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what?